Hey guys, it's me, Miss Starzard, and we're back um, after a little bit of a break for week five of the Blast Burn Radio Invitational uh, League. I have a new team that I drafted. Uh, we focused on like rain and steel types. Uh, it's it's heavily relying on rain. The whole team is, uh, which I've learned with practice that I do my best with weather. So I figured I'd really lean into that here uh, for this next section of this multi-draft format league. Um, today we are matched up with the Venomville Vileplumes, uh, coached by Aliara. They're undefeated. Uh, he's been doing really well this season, uh, and I am a little nervous about today's matchup. Uh, he's got a really tough team. Terrakian is one of his hard hitters, and it kind of just it hits my whole team hard with um, neutral stab and can two hit KO everything on my team pretty much. I have built this fun Quagsire set that can swap in safely, um, potentially set up and maybe even sweep depending on what he brings. So if he brings track in, I think we'll be in good shape because I think I'm like hyper prepped for it. But I was practicing with Stitch and she had put together this defensive core. Um, that didn't include Terrakian whatsoever, and the team just, it just shuts me down. It just completely shuts me down. So if we don't see Terrakian and he goes with the defensive core, I am i don't feel good about the matchup. I'm pretty sure I'm just going to lose. Uh, but if he does bring Terrakian and try and bring that offensive threat, uh, I think that'll give me the opening I need to win. So we'll see what happens. Um, I messaged him that I'm ready to go. Oh, sorry. Um... He asked for my name, my showdown name, so we're just gonna wait for the challenge. Um, but yeah, like I said, I'm nervous. I'm nervous. I, I think we'll be okay if he brings track in. And I think he's gonna bring track in, but S Stitch doesn't think he's going to. Uh, but I guess we're gonna find out right now. So let's take a look and see. No, <laughs> all right, no track in. Awesome. Actually, this is almost the exact team that was giving me fits. This is almost the exact team that was giving me fits. Except instead of Articuno, um, Aliara brought Miltank. So this is probably going to be rough. I, I might get 6-0'd here. Uh, in two matches with Stitch, with the same exact team other than her bringing Articuno instead of Miltank, I got 6-0'd both times. So probably going to get bodied here. <laughs> Um, but we'll see. If we lose, it's not a big deal. We just gotta make playoffs, right? We just need to do good enough to make the playoffs and then just win from there. Um, but we're gonna still try and win up. All right, let's see. <clears throat> right, right, right. Obviously, you're gonna lead Jolteon. Um, but this is an easy sweep for me. I would imagine he clicks Shadow Ball here. Which is fine. I'm running specially bulky Ferrothorn, who should be able to eat this. Hyper Voice, huh? Okay, wasn't expecting Hyper Voice. We'll let us set rocks up. He probably goes Tangrowth here. Yep. Tangrowth wants to knock off. So we are gonna go into the burb. Hopefully this Tangrowth is Assault Vest. That way we don't have to worry about things like Toxic or uh, Sleep Powder. Okay, cool. We get the chip there. We lose our Rocky Helmet, but that's not a big deal. We swap into the Berg because, like, of all the items on, the, on our team, the one we are most okay with losing is that one. We're going to U-turn here for some momentum. He's probably going to be afraid of, like, Brave Bird or something. He left Tangrowth in, huh? Oh, your Rocky Helmet. You probably knock off again. Where do we go here? We didn't bring Terrakian. We didn't bring Terrakian. So I don't need Keyberry Salamander anymore, so I'll go into Quag. We're gonna go back into the bird. Rocky Helmet Tangrowth is gonna be super annoying. We need to knock that item off. I kinda wanna go into Ferrothorn, but I don't wanna lose our lefties.
this team, this team is going to be difficult for us to deal with. Um, it, so the reason why I was struggling with this team so much is because Clef Key can be super annoying with Thunder Wave um, and Hazards. Um, Melodic <clears throat> is just really hard for me to break. I can only really break it with um, Heliolisk with an electric move, but he has two safe switches to that with Jolteon and... Um, that's fine. I can U-turn out. With uh, Jolteon and um, Tangrowth. Ah, this is like a super annoying set. Flying Defense. Or do I U-turn again? Well, I don't want to U-turn into Ferrothorn if he's doing Infestation. That's an interesting set for sure. I almost put Hurricane on Pelipper and now I'm regretting that I didn't. Well, he's not going to U-turn here. And he's not... He's not going to U-turn here and he's not... Going to click Knockoff. So we're just going to U-turn again into... Kingdra. He knocked off. <sighs> Alright, well, getting red really sucks like that. That was, a, that was an excellent read on his part. Alright, well, we lost our choice specs, which really fucking sucks. But now we actually... That might actually help us. You're in kill range. Hurricane's free. We're, keep, we're clicking it. We're clicking Hurricane. Um, Milo. Without choice specs, like, we can't even hope to kill the Draco Meteor. Without choice specs, like, breaking this Milo is gonna be super fucking frustrating. <clears throat> Earthquake is super free. Earthquake is super free here. What do we do about this? This Tangro is my biggest issue. Alright, I don't want I don't want Pelipper to lose it. If I go into Corv, I could go into Corv and then Roost and then you turn out. He probably wants to click Steam Eruption, so we're gonna go into Salamander, who like honestly can handle Canyon. Um Trouble, hopefully. I mean, if he clicks Sludge Wave, like, that's an insane read. Um. Are you choice specs? Do I try and make a read here and, like, go into Burb immediately? Yeah, I think I do. Because you're probably locked in, right? Like, I would imagine this thing's locked in. He's probably going to double back into Tangrowth. Expecting another Earthquake, so I think I double in. Okay. Now I roost. We have revealed Steam Eruption, so he's gonna has, he's gonna be more hesitant to click that button, which is great for us. <clears throat> we don't want to U-turn because we could Iron Defense here. God, breaking this Tangrowth is gonna be the hardest thing. 
without without our choice effects, it's gonna be really. I might go into Pelipper here. He's probably gonna knock off our. Um... He's probably gonna knock off our damp rock. Is that a big deal though? Problem is getting back into Kingdra is like gonna be impossible. Killing this Tangro, like I'm pretty sure I don't know how we beat this Tangro. I like, don't know. It's with Kingdra, but we gotta get Kingdra in safely. We could Iron Defense. What's Iron Defense? Although we could just body press. Because he might go Volcanion here. I think that. We have to U turn now. We'll go into Burb. Or Burb. There goes our damp rock, but it's whatever. <clears throat> I He's probably afraid of Hurricane here, so I imagine he swaps, so we'll U-turn for momentum. Who can kill Clef Key from this? I don't want to go back in the Salamander. Although this thing gets Prankster, it's probably Prankster Thunder Wave. Does Heliolisk kill Klefki from here? No, you're not in range. I gotta go Salamander. I really should have brought my drink in. Yeah, if you don't mind. He's just going to go right back into Tangro, right? Do we liquidate? I mean, we don't really want that shit. We made the read. We made the read last time. We made the read last time, so let's click Earthquake this time. <clears throat> he went right back into Tangro. Should we go? We so we can't go Pharaoh because of infestation. It's super annoying. So we gotta go Burb and we gotta we gotta roost. Although he could go infestation here and put me in a tough spot, because then I gotta. Well, no, because then I. All right, that's fine. I roost. I roost here. This, 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 I'm gonna warn y'all, this is gonna go 200 turns. This is gonna be a long, drawn out match. Okay, uh. I think I got a U turn here. He could go into Volcanion. Although he always knocks off on this turn, so we're going to Iron Defend. We'll Roost. Because he's probably going to click Knock Off here. Good. 
I mean... If we can get rid of Giga Drain, if we pressure stall Giga Drain, Salamander can, ro can wear this thing down between Curse and Liquidation. Yeah, this is going to be a long, drawn-out game. It's going to be a very long, drawn-out game. Infestation is gone. Now we can just switch out for free. We'll probably go into other verb here. Oh, other verb. We will roost. We really should have brought Hurricane. Infestation should leave now, right? What is this thing gonna do? Like, what is this mill tank one? I have no idea what this mill tank wants to do. Should we just scald? Try to get the burn? We could scald, try to go for the burn here. turn now. He'll probably go into Volcanion. Or, or not. This thing is definitely in Kingdra range. Even without our voice spec. It's gotta be in Kingdra range. It's not. God, losing our choice specs fucking sucks. Is it in Lizard range? We could go plant here and knock. Yeah, I think we probably really go plant here and knock off someone's item. Knock off is super free here. Alright, so you lose your rocky helmet. That's amazing. Getting rid of that rocky helmet is funny. We love that. <laughs> I know you want to infest Ferrothorn, and we're not going to let that happen. Are we roost? Pressure is going to be huge here. We don't have to worry about Rocky Helmet anymore. The Iron Defense, and then we could actually start firing off some body press. You're gonna prankster Thunder Wave, right? We go Salamander here. Oh, you default.
I think we're gonna go other burp. Yep. Okay, that works. Uh, we probably outspeed here, so we're gonna U-turn. This this is legitimately gonna be a, like a PP stall game. Like we gotta stall this Tangrowth if we want to have any chance of winning this. <laughs> Okay, I think we go into Lizard now, and we try to dunk on the Jolteon. Can Jolteon kill Milo from here? There's a threat in space, is what I'm asking. Or, I mean, I meant uh, Heliolisk. I'm sure it does. Oh, for sure. Yeah, that's definitely a kill range. We're gonna go Lizard, and we're gonna try and dunk on the, the uh, Jolteon here with Weather Ball. He might go into Tangrowth. <clears throat> please, please go Jolteon. Excellent. All right, I imagine he goes Tangrowth here. He could go Volcanion and try to get the water absorbed. Let's Thunder. Yeah, let's Thunder. You don't leave Jolteon here, right? Not after you saw that. Like, you can get damage off, but you don't want to lose Jolteon to Heliolisk. Not this early, because then I can fire off electric moves freely. You gotta switch. He probably goes Tangrowth, but I'm really hoping he tries to go Volcanion for that Grady Water Absorb. No tank. Okay. We're in kill range for Weather Ball. Thunder did 43. Yeah, we're in kill range for Weather Ball. Let's go. Gone. No tank's been dealt with. <sighs> what the fuck are you gonna do? Are you gonna set up Spike? Is a defog. <sighs> I don't want lizard getting toxic. Okay. Maybe I just play it safe here because this thing is pranked. We just go hard Salander. Maybe we go hard Pharaoh here and try to get our stealth rocks back up because I would I wouldn't be surprised if he tries to set up spikes right now. He could go for Thunder Wave, which would be super annoying. Well, he's not going to click Thunder Wave in the Lizard, right? There's no way he clicks Thunder Wave in the Lizard. We're doing a good job wearing his team down. At least, okay, look, at least we're not going to get a 6 0 This is already going better than my scrimmages uh, with Stitch. Um... All right, let's go Pharaoh. Wagging tail. Look, dude, we're already slow, okay? I don't give a fuck about that. <laughs> Alright, I think now we'll probably thunder wave. We're being really annoying. I could click leech seed here, but I, I think he tries to read that and goes into tangrowth. Oh, he might actually defog here. But maybe I do leech seed. Oh, we can, we can knock off left. Like 
now we'll get stealth marks back. Hopefully. Hopefully. Alright, this is kind of what I was worried about. I don't see him clicking Steam Eruption again. Earth Power kind of fucks Elamander up. I could go Burb. I could go Other Burb. Um, he's probably gonna click Fire Move now. Which Lizard could swap into if Rain was up. I know it's dry skin, but we're, we're AV Lizard. This turn is big, is really important for us here. Oh, we well, are a choice item, so you're not going to kill Quagsire no matter what. So we can pivot. We can pivot Quag. Quag can heal with Recover, and we'll see what you lock yourself into. I think that's probably our best course of action. You certainly don't click, you certainly don't click, um, Steam Eruption here. Fledge Bomb. Oh, that's like a best case scenario. Oh, that poison kind of sucks, but, I mean, you're locked in now, so we just recover. And now we go bird. Pressure this thing. We roost here. Uh, do we go plant again? I do. Does he double here? He could. Doubling would be the, the big brain play. He does not. He puts hyper void. And get stealth rocks back up. Get this leech seed up. All right. Now this is where he goes. Volcanion, right? So, what do we do to predict that? Do we go Lizard? I think we go hard Pelipper to get rain up. That way, if he decides to click fire move, Salamander just eats it. We don't want to knock off because we don't want to knock off. We like that Volcanion is locked into a move because it'll we can pivot. It allows us to pivot a little bit better. And Heliolisk is risky because we don't we don't want to click an electric move and Jolteon is still alive. Kingdra losing specs is fucking horrendous. It's like one of the worst things that could have happened. Like, I shouldn't have made that risky swap here. Or that, that risky swap. We could go hard Salamander now. And click EQ. I think we go Pelipper to get the rain. And now we could actually probably go into Bird. Is he with rain up? How much does Flamethrower do with rain up? Oh, it's still kill. Oh, wait, hold on. Yeah, it. it it's not gonna kill, but it two hit KOs. So that's not that's not the play. Um, I think we gotta go Salamander here. Just scope. 
flame door. All right. Okay, so he went for the fire move. He went for the greedy fire move. Okay, so we just recover here, get our health back. Does he predict and go into Jolteon? He might try to predict and go into Jolteon here. What if we tried to make a... What if we click EQ right now? What if we clicked EQ right now? We could click EQ right now. Like, that's really... Does Giga Drain kill us? I mean, it's a super risky play, but it, it's high risk, high reward. Like, if he tries to make the double into Jolteon, based off of my previous turns, EQ is definitely the play, because then we get rid of Jolteon, and then we can, like, fire off Thunders for free. This is Rocky Helmet Tank. Like, this... Giga Drain for sure kills. Okay, if... So, but he didn't do that last time, did he? No, he clicked Leech Seed. Let's see if he doubles. He does not. All right. I thought about making the risky play, and it almost backfired. It almost backfired. What if we just body press right It's not gonna kill. What if we iron defense? Maybe he tries to set up leech speed and okay. hmm. we go Pharaoh now or do we go Sam? Or do we go Lizard? No, Lizard doesn't make sense unless Rain is up. That's the only time Lizard makes any We could switch a route here, but then what? We Barry? Like, who fucking cares? He Barry does us no good in this matchup. It's too bad. I should have put. I don't know because I needed. I needed everything I have on Quag. Maybe instead of liquidation, I run toxic so I can be annoying for Tangrowth. Oh, he made the read. That was a good read. You Giga drained last turn. Do you Giga drain this turn? Let's get Rain up. Oh, how much does Giga drain from Tangrowth due to uh? Ooh, 43. Ugh. Well, we're not dead to crit. And we for sure outspeed. Guess we go. Roost. Look, I knew this is exactly what kind of match. My scrims with Stitch both went 100 plus turns. The second one went 200 turns. And I forfeited both of those just because like I had no win cons and like looking good. And I was also tilting because of bad iron. <clears throat> but that's Pokemon, right? <laughs> Good good drain would have been like a big brain play there. I didn't, but now we U-turn. Into Corviknight probs unless he swaps out. Do we go Kingdra here? 
and drop a Draco. I mean, Clef key switch isn't safe. Mm -hmm. Man, I really wish. I really wish Hurricane was kill range. Oh, we don't have. Oh, we could go King. I mean, if this is Scarf, though, it's still outspeed. In fact, I'm almost willing to bet it. It outspeeds by one if it's timid and max speed. It's just fucking insane. Absolutely fucking insane. Um, Maybe we just go plant here. I think going plant is this play, because then we can get rocks back up. And this thing can't do anything to so as long as we don't get fully paired, we get rocks back up, which is nice. Probably in the clef key, right? We got paralyzed. <sighs> okay, I mean yeah, that's that's what happened. Do we just go hard quack here? <laughs> Surprise! I'm Keyberry! <laughs> Not that that matters at this point. <laughs> that Keyberry was 100% for, um... Brachian. So what the Keyberry allowed us to do is to swap into a uh, Life Orb boosted close combat, uh, live it, give us the defense boost, and then live another one. Uh, and I could recover and then set up curses, and depending on what he had, like, assuming he didn't bring Tangrowth, like, Quag just wins, but he brought Tangrowth. So of course he brought Tangrowth. Tangrowth loves, loves this matchup. Do I go into other burb? I think I go bird this time. I want other bird last time. I'll go bird this time. Now this thing could scald and burn, which would suck. Maybe I go Salamander here. Although I could go Pharaoh. Although Pharaoh's slowly getting worn down. And we can't set up seeds because of Tangrowth. U-turning doesn't make sense because if we get burnt, like, Herb isn't nearly as good. This is fine for us. We're okay with this. Do I just EQ here? Am I switching too much? Like, I, I don't want to go into either of the verbs. Let's EQ here. Actually, are we into a KO range from Volcano? Because we might want to recover here. Oh, it doesn't matter for two-hit KO range because it's just a, it'd be a scout swap anyway. It's just to see what movie locks himself into. I think EQ is the play. God, this fucking tang growth is infuriating. So, I think with poison we die. Bag does. 
I think this is where it falls apart. Do we go Pelipper here? But then we lose our rain. If we lose our rain, it's over. <laughs> Do we give up Kingdra? No. Pickle Meteor is still good. This is an unfortunate turn here. He doesn't click Steam Eruption for sure. He's probably clicking Flamethrower. I think Flamethrower is his freest play. He doesn't click Sludge Bombing, right? If I lose rain, I, I'm in really bad shape. But I think Pelipper is the play here. Like, Flamethrower is his freest option, right? Other than the Polyper switch. God, I might have to give up Quagsire here. Yeah, it's not looking good. I'm pretty sure this is where it, fall, it starts to fall apart. What about Kingdra? Kingdra outspeeds. Kingdra for sure can't kill this thing without its specs, though. Losing the specs is like... That pretty much lost us the game. Is when I, I allowed Kingdra to lose its specs. Kingdra pretty much lived, like... Lives a flamethrower. It outspeeds and threatens the year. It doesn't live a sludge wave. Well, it does live a sludge wave. Just a sludge bomb. You're running sludge bomb. You live a sludge... You live everything except- well, you live everything. Kingdra lives everything. Maybe Kingdra's the same. But then what, Draco Meteor? <laughs> you know? Well, maybe... I scare him out, cause, well no, he's not in any danger. Even if I was modest, I could kill him here. I think I gotta go Pelipper, and hope he doesn't click Ledge Bomb. Or he low rolls on Sludge Bomb. You gotta go Pelipper and he'll be low, low rolls on Sludge Bomb. He clicked Flamethrower. Okay, cool. That... We are okay with that. We can roost. Get our health back. You're not gonna keep spamming Flamethrower. There's no chance. You do keep spamming Get the burn. I could go Salamander and recover. And get Salamander's health back up. Oh, that feels like a good good play. Alright, we survived another Volcanion encounter. <laughs> I don't know how many more of those we will survive, but we did survive another one. An other burb is burned, which means we can leave it out in front of Klefki. Other burb is Pelipper. God, this, this match is insane. We've been going for 43 minutes now. <laughs> Back into Volcanion. All right. Salamander switch is in safe now in Scouts. So 
So I think that's my play. We switch in the Salamander, see what you're clicking. Oh shit, no, because if you click fire move. Are we into a KO range? Who do we? Then who do we pivot into? Indra? But for what? To fire off a Draco Meteor. getting that health back. I want to go into Pelipper though. But we die to a high roll Giga Drain plus burn. Maybe we actually go Kingdra here. No, no. Don't want to lose our assault. But he, he doesn't knock off. Oh, like, what do we do once we go into Heliolis? Heliolis. Or Kingja. Kingja. We already lost our Corbinite, he might just double right back into Vault Canyon. And we're right back in the same situation. How do we get out of this? Burb again. Okay. I think I might U-turn because he hasn't he hasn't clicked a move on Milo yet. We're gonna U-turn. He, he'll probably double out. He hasn't clicked a move on Milo. Uh. <laughs> Alright, Heliolisk looks good here. Um You know what I could do? I could go Pharaoh and click Stealth Rock. Rocks up. Good. There's no way you Giga Drain against this, so I think Other Burb is safe here. We can leave Other Burb out in front of Clef Key. You're gonna defog. Do we Scald and get rid of Clef Key? It doesn't kill. Alright, uh, let's roost. 
our health back. That's kind of what's most important, you know? And then we you turn out. Okay. Let's go back into Pharaoh and try to set up Stiltron. Good. And now we can go back into other. Goes volcano. Or do we just go burp? Do we just go. No, we don't want to go. We don't want to go into Pelipper right now because rain's about to go away. It'd be better to go Corv here and then U turn into the burp, I think. Do we want to roost here, or do we want to U-turn? Because he might try to get greedy and go into Vulcan. I think we U-turn. Or we go Pharaoh. Because he's going to click Leech Seed. The quarve. Man, he's only got two leech seeds left. He hasn't missed a single one. Hasn't missed a single leech seed. If it was me, I'd miss all of them. I'd miss all of the leech seeds. Let's look at something here. Hurricane kills Tangrowth here. Um, I I think we go Kingdra and click Hurricane. Need to land a raw hurricane. Oh, Tangrowth is gone. Oh my god, that's so huge. That is so huge. No more annoying ass good riddance. Good riddance to that fucking thing. Alright. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Alright, so he's gonna defog. Um let's go into Pelipper, get our rain back up. <laughs> oh my god. Uh should we roost here? I mean he's gonna go back into Vulk. Let's just roost. Let's play it safe. Let's keep our health nice and high. 
Uh, this isn't over, but getting rid of Tangros is huge. Absolutely huge. You're going to leave Clef out? Or we're going to U-turn. I'm not. That's deep. But Quag Earthquakes are super fucking free. Like, super fucking free. And that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to go right into our good Salamander friend and just fire off an Earthquake. Something is going to not like that. It, I, it's probably going to... He's probably going to swap into Milo here, right? Like, Milo is the obvious swap. But, like, what's Milo doing? Salamander. Do we boost? Do we boost in this thing's face? We're gonna recover. We can do that too. Let's try cursing, just to see. Like, let's see what he wants. To do. We have the luxury of of taking like we have the luxury of like feeling this game out a little bit more now that Tangrowth is fine. Like in scrims, Tangrowth was the problem. I'm surprised he left Tangrowth out. I think he was rolling the dice on the hurricane, hitting or missing. Okay, so you're Haze. Did we go Blizzard here? And then... No. What's the best way to go about that? Plant. We go Pharaoh here. We go Pharaoh here for sure and click Leech Seed because nothing that's left um, likes that. Well, first I think we go Pelipper to get the rain back up because we need rain up so flamethrowers don't hurt from Volcanion. And then we do- and then we, um, do we outspeed? Bob's not. What are you gonna do to me? Click Scald and you turn. We go into the plant. And then we click Leech Seed. Right. <sighs> okay. We get Stealth Rocks up. Or we could Power Whip trying to catch the Clef Key on the Switch. We'll just Stealth Rock here. We go back in the quag, right? We go back in the quag. See what you're locking yourself into. And we double out into something. What do we double out into? Do we need Kingdra anymore? Like, what is Kingdra doing? If we can get rid of Klefki, we can start firing off Draco. That's what it is. We're gonna root or er, recover. Ow, fuck. Your choice card. Heliolisk isn't taking much from this thing, it kind of walls it. And Weather Ball gets a stab boost. Do I click an electric move here? Do I get greedy? I think we do because Jolteon isn't much of a threat at this point. Like, we have switch-ins for- Eh, Jolteon is still kind of a threat. Like, this is definitely not over. Let's hold switch. Cool other ball. Like, 
What are you doing with the lizard? You're gonna click hyper voice. I'm a salt bath at dinner. <clears throat> I think Lizard just wins this. I think Lizard can slowly wear this team down and win. recover. Here's Milo. Still dealing with this Milo is gonna be like a lot. Maybe we recover one. Get up to four. Let's let's fire off an EQ. It doesn't hurt. This like this can okay. That's gonna be really nice. Uh, do we just do it again? Uh, Earth power kills us. Here. Earth power does kill us here. He hasn't showed us that other move. I am sure it is Earth Power. So I'm thinking we go ahead and let Corv go down. As crazy as that sounds, I'm not sure how much of a win con it is for us at this point. And then Kingdra comes in and does what? Maybe we go. Does, does a dry weather ball from Lizard kill Volcanic from here? It's a roll. It is a roll. Alright, we're gonna go Corv. Mmm, the Earth Power! <laughs> <laughs> nice, 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 nice. Uh, I think we just iron defense and body press. Oh, you probably go Jolteon. Wait, but if you go Jolteon, you just eat shit right now from a body press. Pretty sure, I'm pretty sure body press just kills. Yeah, let's just fire off a body press here. Hmm. Nope. That's real. Um... Pharaoh? Maybe? Pharaoh? Maybe? Lizard can 1v1 mile. What do you do here, though? You Thunder Wave? I can still Body Press. Go ahead and Thunder Wave. Go ahead and Thunder Wave. I'm gonna Body Press. Here goes Jolteon. Now, electric attacks are free. Heliolisk wins. That's... That should do it. We think we go other burb and click U-turn, get into the lizard, and just thunder our way to victory. Actually, let's U-turn. Into other burb. Get that rain up. You turn into the lizard and win. Behold my mighty lizard. <laughs> Alright. That should do it. Alright, from getting 6 0 to practice in practice to 6 0 ing. You can't thunder wave in like. Really? And Milo can't touch us. It could toxic us, but. 
uh, we're gonna. <clears throat> Land this thunder, please. Actually, we'll charge beam. Get our boost. <laughs> Why would you do that? Uh, I think we'll. Oh. Alright, well, I'm gonna grab the replay, dip out. Um, a huge, huge shout out to Stitch and Goldoa. Um, Goldoa helped me prep for the Terrakian team that I was worried about, but Stitch helped me practice for the Stall team that I was worried about, and that is what Aliara brought. Um, so my scrimmages with Stitch were a huge, huge help, and I don't win this without her help, so I really appreciate that. Um, huh? Oh, yeah. Oh, it is. Um, but yeah, uh, I, and, uh, we won. We won this week. I was super worried, and it did not go the way I thought it would, but hey, we pulled it off. Um, I don't know who we have next week off the top of my head. I've been so hyper-focused on prepping for this one. Uh, but I will catch y'all in next week's one. Hopefully it'll be a little more exciting than this 116 turn, like, marathon. Um, <laughs> but yeah, uh, I'll catch y'all next time.